Hey there, this is Samantha with Bites of Wellness and today we are going to make a super simple side dish. It is my creamy kale, guaranteed to make even the biggest kale haters love dinner. All right, so clearly we're gonna start with some kale and I've got just some regular old kale today and I'm gonna show you how to um, take the stems out so you don't have any kind of like roughage in your teeth. So we're gonna start there. So let's start with just a, one leaf of kale. So you'll see there's a pretty thick stem that goes through. The easiest thing that you can do is just grab the leaf and the stem and you're just gonna kind of pull it out. Comes out pretty easily and then you can just tear your kale up. Just that easy. And you're gonna do that through this whole head and only take about a minute or two. And again, you just wanna start from the stem and just pull the leaves away. So you're left with the stem separate and then your leaves, you just want to tear them up into bite-sized pieces. Once you have all of your kale just chopped into bite-sized pieces, it's going to preheat um, over medium heat or so, about a tablespoon of oil. You're going to add your entire pound of kale and then you're going to stick the lid on it and let it cook for about two or three minutes. While that's cooking, we're going to make the sauce. That's what really makes this shine. The sauce we're going to make starts with a half of a lemon juice, so we're going to go there. To get the most juice out of your lemon, just make sure you really squeeze it out there. And then I always recommend that you use some kind of lemon juicer, because otherwise it goes everywhere. Be careful with the seeds. But if you get a few in there, because I always do, just use a fork to get them out. To your lemon juice, you're going to add a tablespoon of whatever your favorite nut butter is. You can use sun butter if you have a nut allergy. I'm using almond butter. Make sure it's creamy. And to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of either garlic olive oil or regular olive oil with a half a teaspoon of garlic. So one tablespoon of oil and the garlic is what gives us all the flavor. And to mask some of the bitterness in the kale, you want to make sure you add some salt as well. So you need about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can measure it or you can just eyeball it. And then you want to make sure that you combine this well together and then we're going to add some water to thin it out. I'm not sure what makes it this way, but if I add water before I mix it, it's so impossible to get all those ingredients to mix together. So I always mix it first and then add the water. So we're going to do about two or three tablespoons. And that's the sauce. That's all you need to do. We'll check on our kale, pour it over, and then we'll be ready. So the kale should be nice and tender, bright green. Um, again, it only needs a couple of minutes, so don't burn it, don't overcook it. We're going to add all of our um, dressing, I guess you'd call it our sauce, right over the kale, just pour it over. And then you want to make sure you stir this well to incorporate everything. For more super simple, easy meals, go to BiceofWellness.com.